Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Mamadi Dumbuya, the leader of Guinea's junta, was sworn in as interim president on Friday, overseeing what regional powers hope will be a quick transition to constitutional governance following President Alpha Conde's removal on September 5. Most West African heads of state, who decided last month to impose sanctions on junta members and their relatives, were conspicuously absent from the swearing-in ceremony at the Mohammed V Palace in the capital Conakry. Since last year, four coups have occurred in West and Central Africa, raising fears of a return to military control in a resource-rich but impoverished region. Dumbuya took the oath of office with a white-gloved hand, wearing a military dress uniform, a red beret, and wraparound sunglasses. I fully appreciate the magnitude and immensity of the responsibilities entrusted to me," he said in a speech. He promised to lead a transition that would include the creation of a new constitution, the battle against corruption, electoral reform, and the holding of free and fair elections. The junta has stated that its members will be prevented from running in the next elections, but has not specified when these will be held, citing an 81-member Transitional National Council as the decision-making body. The Economic Community of the West African States, a regional organization, has frozen the junta's assets and imposed travel bans in the hopes of promoting a speedy return to democracy. Leaders of the coup claim they deposed Conde because of worries about poverty and corruption, as well as the fact that he was only serving his third term after changing the law to allow it. Guinea's output of bauxite, a material needed to create aluminum, has not been hampered by the political situation. The country's main foreign businesses claim that their operations have not been disrupted. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.